Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy. Hi there. In my last couple of lessons, I showed you the difference between vectors and bitmaps, and I showed you how to trace bitmaps. So in this lesson, I'll show you how to use bitmaps as a fill. You can see here that I've got an orange fill, it's a vector. But what if I wanted to use a bitmap in the background of this fill? If I wanted to fill this shape with a bitmap? If we go to our colour panel here, you can see I've got solid colour, I've got gradients, but I've also got this option for a bitmap fill. Now the only bitmap I've got in my library at the moment is this bitmap 2. There's a picture of the star that I was using as an example earlier. And you can see that what Flash has done is it's now filled that vector object with my bitmap and it's tiled it. So you can see it's tiling across my fill there. You can also import different bitmaps. So if you want a texture or something else, you could use it in this way. And if you want to have a bit more control over the way that this bitmap is filling this vector shape, then go up here to your free transform tool, hold it down, and you get the gradient transform tool. Let's click on that. And what that does is it brings up this box here that gives us control over the way our bitmap is shown. So if I grab this tool on the side, I can rotate my bitmap. You can see that makes it display differently. It's now rotated and it's tiling in a rotated way. I can squish it like that, make it smaller and make it tile even more. Uh, this option on the side down here, that does uniform scaling, so scales it horizontally and vertically at the same time. These ones here, they're your skew options. So if you want to skew your bitmap, then you can using these. So they give you a lot more control over how your bitmap is displayed. And you can click on the different instances of your bitmap as it's being tiled and edit those. If you click on the circle in the center, then you can shift where your bitmap is displayed within that fill. And then once you're done, you can click on your black selection tool here and you can move that fill around quite happily. You could command or control G it and create a group out of it. There you go, another use for bitmaps in Flash. Try it yourself and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, if you enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out the Hexjibber Colouring and Activity book on my website, hexjibber.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com and WH Smiths. Cheers.